Breaking news right now at noon, Metro police are on the scene of a triple shooting at an extended stay hotel that is located on the northwest side. Our Emily Longnecker is live at 86th Street where that shooting happened. And Emily, what can you tell us? Well, Karen, we just spoke with IMPD and they tell us they're still really unpacking what happened here, why this all happened. What they can tell us is at 1030 this morning, they came here on a report of a person shot. And when they got on scene, they found one man in dead inside a room and two others shot a man and a woman, both critically injured at area hospitals. At this point, IMPD says they are not looking for a suspect. Now, we just spoke with a man who was inside this extended stay when this all went down, and I want to direct you to that open window there on the third floor. He says that that's where everything happened, and, be and he knows that, he says, because he lives across from that room on the third floor. He says he was getting ready to do dishes this morning when all of a sudden... <clears throat> he heard gunfire. He says he actually took cover inside his apartment and that two uh, bullets came uh, through the, the, the wall of his apartment, narrowly missing him. He says he got on the phone with 911 and, and, and asked police to get here, that, that someone was shooting. He says police were here within minutes. And he says he stayed uh, in his room for several minutes waiting uh, until he heard police uh, shouting or what he thought was police. And when he opened the door, he said he saw police in the hall with their guns drawn going into the room uh, across the hall. He says when he had the opportunity, he ran out of his room and ran downstairs and was waiting in the lobby when he says that he later saw police bringing two people out that um, looked like they were injured. He also says when he was running away down the hall, he saw a man on the floor in that room and he said he was um, not moving. Now, we asked police about some of those details that this man gave us. They couldn't confirm any of it, any of it except to say that one man is dead, two other people, a man and a woman, critically injured at this point. They are not looking for a suspect, they say, uh, but this is still an active crime scene, and they are still trying to figure out what led to this shooting. They believe it was some kind of disturbance, but again, they don't have details on what kind of disturbance. Karen? All right, Emily, thank you. Reporting live for us at the extended stay on the northwest side. We look forward to uh, more details coming up later on uh, 13.